Support for this episode comes from Modern Football Technology. Modern Football Technology provides real-time opponent tendencies and self-scout while eliminating manual data entry into Huddle, DV Sport, and Exos. If you're tired of tools that are time-consuming to learn and perform inconsistently at best, then we recommend Modern Football for a fresh perspective. Schedule a demo today at teammofo.com to see a battle-tested tool that's proven to perform and deliver value. Mention Coach and Coordinator Podcast or use a coupon code CC10 to receive 10% off your first year. And listen to our recent episode featuring Folsom High School Defensive Coordinator Jordan Ersick to learn more about how the 2023 California State Champion uses modern football to dominate their opponents. This is Morgan Scali, Defensive Coordinator, Safeties Coach at the University of Utah. This is Jonathan Heimbach, Offensive Line Coach for the XFL champion Arlington Renegades. And you're listening to the The Coach Coach and and Coordinator Coordinator Podcast. Podcast. So it's got to be detailed. You know, our, our job is to provide clarity, hold them accountable to it, and give them all the support they need. And uh, the clarity is the biggest thing. If, if we're yelling at kids for something that we haven't made clear, we haven't explained properly, that's on us. The end of camp brings a new approach to the day and the week. Schedules are adjusted with classes starting and the new routine and rhythm of game week begins. It's also a time to cover all of the details of game day operations. This is everything from where people stand on the field to how you meet at halftime. Do not take these things for granted. Also important is communication with players as depth charts and playing opportunities become set at least for week one. Today, defensive coordinator Morgan Scally and offensive line coach of the XFL champion Arlington Renegades, Jonathan Heimbach, join us to point out the details we need to be thinking about as we make the transition from camp to week one. What you see on tape is a direct reflection of what you teach and how you teach. Video is important, but if you don't teach well, you're not going to like what you see on your video. First Down Playbook has been helping coaches teach better for 13 years. It allows you to present installs, playbooks, and practice cards in half the time with NFL quality. Coaching tools like video pairing, a player app, practice schedules, and wristband sheets have made First Down Playbook a program management system with everything in one place. If you're in a position of leadership with your football program, receive a free one-week look at First Down Playbook. Call them at 512-814-6158 or visit them on their website or social media. Mention Coach and Coordinator Podcast or use the coupon code COACH24 to receive a $100 discount off the normal $700 First Down Playbook team membership price. Links and the phone number are in the show notes. First, Coach Scally points out some important details in how the Utes approach practicing on the first day of school and installing all of their game day operations and procedures. While you may have been doing it for years, you can't expect your players to do something if they've not been coached to do that. That's a point that Coach Scally makes, and that includes game day procedures. Let's take a listen. I think the biggest hurdle is that first day of school. When everyone's getting to class for the first time, they're trying to figure out where things are on campus. And the first day, traditionally for us, it has been a normal practice, hasn't been a great practice. So usually we take that first day of school day, and that's where we go over game day procedures. So we don't necessarily have a full-blown practice. We may have some seven-on-seven seven and some lighter stuff, but ultimately we, we use it to take the guys over to the stadium to go over sideline procedure, how we substitute, how you know pregame's going to go, halftime, where we're going to be for halftime, and how we substitute for special teams, offense, defense. Coach Witt will talk about just game day. You know, No one calls timeouts but him just a lot of the game day procedure that way you know they spend that first day of school really knowing that they're not going to have a tough workload in practice 
and then and then after that, it makes for a pretty good next day practice for us. How important is it to install those procedures for you? Because you know you really camp is always different. Even when you get some inner squads, it's different. Uh, putting a focus on that, actually practicing those things. How big of a difference does that make when you actually get to game day? Oh, it makes a huge difference. I mean, you you look across college football at, at the mistakes that are made, and we're not immune to it on week one. And a lot of that is if you haven't covered it, and if you haven't covered it enough. You know, we try and mimic as much as we can in our practices. I try and call everything from the sideline. We try and have, you know, that view of where I'm going to be. And so as much as you can mimic the game day atmosphere and and what they're going to see and and feel the the better off you are now is that full operational procedures are your your GAs where they're supposed to be guys up in the box are you guys working through all that as a coaching staff as well on our scrimmage days we will do that yes we'll have our headsets on that's in fall camp and leading up to our, our first game make sure they understand where they're supposed to be on the sideline talk about where everyone's going to sit on the bench when we're communicating with the team when we when we're out on the field where everyone stands we've got our different position groups you know aligned around me and then how that communication process is going to happen so it's got to be detailed you know our, our job is to provide clarity hold them accountable to it and give them all the support they need. And uh, the clarity is the biggest thing. If, if we're yelling at kids for something that we haven't made clear, we haven't explained properly, that's on us. As coaches, we know that some of the biggest hurdles to our team's success can come from off the field. Your team needs support to tackle the endless list of expenses, uniforms, training equipment, travel, and more. But raising that money can feel like a full-time job. Thankfully, there's Vertical Raise. Vertical Raise is the premier online fundraising platform using innovative technology to create the easiest and most efficient system available. Raise more money in less time with a local fundraising coach who works with your team every step of the way to customize the ideal fundraiser. With options for online donations, digital discount cards, premium product sales, and even spirit shops, Vertical Raise has top-of-the-line solutions for every fundraising style. To find out more, visit verticalraise.com and we'll get you connected with an exclusive offer on your first fundraiser. We finished with Coach Heimbach sharing his thoughts on the importance of communication as camp ends. He points out that it's very important to be deliberate about communication. He also gives the ideas of how he adjusts individual periods as the regular season begins. One of the things that you want to do when you roll through training camp and then you start getting close to kicking off the first game is I think you need to really be very deliberate with your communication with players on where they stand in the depth chart and what the expectation is for them to tell them, Hey, right now you're the starter or right now you're not starting or you're competing to start as, you need to do this, this, and this to prove to us that, that there's an understanding and a very deliberate communication with players so that they know as the game gets closer, they start thinking about playing time, that there's clear and concise direction for them so that they know where they fit what the team needs. And, and as an offensive line coach, you really want to say, hey, you're running with the ones or you're running with the twos or – hey, you're a guy that might need to look at switching positions because we need help at this position. So as long as everybody knows where you are, rather than no surprises on day before the game or day of the game, that's one of the things that I want to you know, focus on as we get close to kicking the season off. Looking at that as, as well, you know, there's less individual time going into that first week of camp. You're into that season schedule. How do you, as a coach, what do you look at transitioning? What things maybe get paired back and get other things get more focused on? Well, I think as you get close to game day, you want to make your drills applicable to what they're going to see on game day or what you're going to ask them to do. So as you can get as specific as possible within your your drill work, it's not as general maybe what you might have done in spring or the first part of 
summer camp that we can say, hey, we're going to focus on this play. So guess what? Our Indy is going to be really focused towards it. So that's one of the things that it, it needs to be a lot more specific as you get closer to game day. Best wishes for a successful start to the 2023 campaign. Keep tuning in throughout the season as we share ideas that are timely and delivered efficiently through shorter episodes. Be sure to check the show notes for related episodes from our guests and go to coachingcoordinator.com for the entire catalog of the season. Follow me on Twitter at Coach K Grabowski.